struck him out, and the ball game is over. For the first time since 2016, the 2022 New York Mets will be going to the postseason. Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hood, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion. Well, the Mets are back in the postseason. Uh, they won 94 games with 13 games to play. Unbelievable. But I, I had such faith in them, and I know you did too, as we watched this season unfold. And we got so much more that has to get done. Uh, but what a great night. The 10th time... The Mets have been in the postseason. That, this is something that happens every day. The first time this has happened since 2016. And I am so excited. One, two coming. Struck him out. As you know, we had Max Scherzer pitch tonight. He pitched perfect. Pitched six perfect innings, nine strikeouts. He was about as dominant as you can get. He got his 10th uh, one of the season. His 200th of his career. Future Hall of Famer. He has been great since they brought him here. Aside from the injuries, I've not, I cannot remember the last time the Mets got a player uh, that has been... The uh, Mets have gotten superstar uh, uh, production. Probably not since... Probably Gary Carter. I mean, championship caliber uh, production. Amazing. One, two... And Alonso tries one deep left field. Forget that. That is way out of here. So much production has come out of these plays. But you know what? The guy is most responsible for holding this whole thing together. Uh, to bring this team together has been Buck Walter. I've been so, such a big supporter of his since before they hired him. Uh, I feel, and I think a lot of supporters of his prior to him coming here, Feel very much vindicated because you saw a difference where you have a veteran manager who has won, a veteran manager who has uh, been to postseason, a veteran manager who has uh, managed in New York City. Uh, you see all these kind, and he's been in the media. He, he knows how to uh, control the room, run the room, and get this team focused. Uh, it has been a, a real I. Not felt this way by any manager. He's, he's just a pleasure to watch on the field, manage the game. Um, he's much more, he's just different than, say, Bobby Valentine. Obviously, he's much more different than David Johnson. Uh, very different from Terry Collins. And you see what a difference having a veteran manager that's had success, uh, how that has manifested itself um, on the field. This was a team that was not in great shape last year. We know what happened last year. And you saw a manager that didn't have the wherewithal to hold on to things like this manager has been able to do. He's put these players in a position to succeed. He's put these players in a position where they can really do damage. Uh, and that's what all you can ask for out of a manager. They play hard. They play smart. I mean, this is about as smart of a team. That I've ever seen the Mets have. And we're talking about teams, you know, that had Bobby Valentine as manager. This is a, a very on point team, a very on point coaching staff. And it's been a lot of fun to watch. And this is but the first step, the first step on a long line now. The next step is win a division. After that, it's win the divisional series, then the pennant, and then obviously the World Series. Uh, that's where <clears throat> the finish line is for us. That's how I look at it. And the Mets have two big pitchers at the top of the rotation. Two guys that are great. And they're going to be, this is, this is a Mets team. Nobody wants to face the Mets. Nobody. With those guys and that guy at the end of the bullpen with the trumpets, nobody wants to face the Mets. Well, I know one thing. I appreciate you all for watching these videos. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I think I appreciate you subscribing, uh, leaving great comments, uh, liking the videos, and keep coming back. Uh, there will be live streams coming up, but over the next, uh, we really don't even have the chance to really take a breath because they have to win the division. We got 13 games, 
Next week they play the Braves, and then we'll finish up the season against the Nationals. So we got a, still got a long road ahead of us. So thank you again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Thank you. And let's go Mets.